Hey kids, I'm your mad scientist from ProfessorIt.com. Hi kids, I'm your mad scientist from ProfessorIt.com and today you can help me do this experiment. I have often wondered where the water goes when you water plants. So today you can help me get this information by this delightful new scientific experiment that we're going to do. Now, the first thing we're going to do is use water coloring. So while I clean up all this mess, what you can do is start to gathering your materials, which you'll find right up here on our chalkboard. All right, kids, what we need will be four carnations white, five plastic cups, some food coloring, red, yellow, blue, a pair of scissors, and because we're using scissors, we need you to have adult supervision, so ask mom and dad to help you out on this one, as well as some water. Now, what we want to do first is fill each cup with water. You know I have my safety checklist. I always have this to make sure that we do our experiments safely and completely. I will fill each cup halfway with water. There we are. Now, the next thing that we need to do will be, it says here, we want to add 20 to 30 drops of food coloring into each one of these glasses of water. I'll start with blue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Next, we take our yellow. And again, twenty-five. I'm just gonna guess that this is, let's see, that's about 18, 19, 20. That's about 25. When you say, I think so too. And lastly, my favorite color, red. Once again, same amount. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Much quicker this time. Now, well, check that off of our safety checklist. Now, before we place any of these white carnations, it says here, have an adult trim the stem of each flower in an angle to give it a fresh start. Take my first one. I'll take my scissors and I will cut at an angle straight across. What this will do is allow us to make the water rise up without any problems. You see, the reason it's going to rise up is because we have no air in the stem. If we had air in the stem, the water and the food coloring would not be able to rise. So what we do is cut a little slit right here, and I'll place that one into the blue water. Next, I'll take my next white carnation. Once again, I will cut it at an angle to give it a fresh start. Place it here, and I will take this white carnation and put it in my yellow. Now, lastly, I'll take the third one. Once again, what am I gonna do? I'm going to cut it at an angle to give it a fresh start so no air will be in there and this water can rise up to the top. I'm gonna to place that in the cup with my favorite color, red. Now what you can do at home is make a prediction. You can guess which one will have that water raise all the way up and come out in the beautiful white flowers and change the color. 
Now kids, this will take a little bit of time, so we'll be right back. Hi kids, now if you look over here you can see already the color is starting to come into the white flower, changing the white to blue, the white to yellow, and the white to red. Now, the next part of our experiment is called split ends. And with this part of the experiment, what we're going to do, and you'll need adult supervision once again, so get mom and dad in here. What we will do is we will take a flower, once again, we will cut it off at an angle to make sure we eliminate any of the air that's going up there. And the next thing we're going to do, which will require some help from mom and dad, is to cut in the stem so we split it right in half. The next thing we're going to do is take our flower with the split stems and I'm going to place one stem inside of the red cup, one stem inside of the blue cup. And what will happen is this water will come rising up and we should be able to see red on the right side and blue on the left side of this flower. This could take as much as 24 hours, so we'll be right back. Now you're probably wondering just how this happens. Well, I'm going to tell you. You see, according to my calculations, the water will travel up through the stem. Now once we've cut this flower, we no longer have roots because roots are usually the way the water gets into the flower and the stem. But by cutting it at an angle, we've given it a fresh cut, therefore allowing the water to be able to rise up through the stem and get to the very top where it feeds the flower. Because we put color into each one of our glasses, we will see a change in these white flowers into the colors that we have added to the glasses. Red, yellow, and blue. Now it's time to get technical. There are two things that combine to move water through plants. Transpiration and cohesion. Transpiration and cohesion. Those are the two elements that we need in order to get water to rise up into our flower from the stem. This works the same way as if we were sucking on a straw in a glass of soda pop. Because we've cut it at an angle, we've eliminated extra air in the stem, therefore the water will flow through this beveled, 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 can you say that? Beveled, that was cutting at an angle. This water will flow through the beveled end of the stem and rise up into the flower. Well kids, I certainly hope that you have learned one thing and that is how do plants get water from the ground where we've poured it up into its stem and into the flower. And you can see that it actually works. This is your mad scientist from ProfessorIt.com and I hope that all of your experiments are fun, safe, and successful. Safe, did I say that? Yes, fun, safe, and successful.